Ms. Nakamoto, um, how many employees do you have that are inspectors? Um, we have uh, 45 part-time employees and uh, 12 full-time employees. And how many facilities do you have a contractual relationship with ICE? As many as they ask us to inspect. Do you have any limit in your contract that says you are being contracted to do 50 of the 200 facilities or whatever? The way they do it is in intervals, and we inspect at least about 120 a year. Of but facilities? Facilities. With 45 part-time inspectors and 12 full-time? Mm -hmm. What is the value of your contract? I don't have that in front of me. What do you estimate it to be about? Who do you have with you on staff? I'm sorry? Who's with you to, from your staff? Um, my vice president and um, my chief financial officer. And your chief financial officer, I'd be able to whisper in your ear what the, what the value of your contract is. $3 million. It's a lot of money. Um, in December 2018, letter to uh, members of the Senate, you quite aggressively disputed some of OIG's reporting. In fact, the letter pulls quotes from your inspection of the Adelanto uh, facility directly responds to some of the OIG findings. For example, you allege that the OIG's findings in the Adelanto facility regarding hanging nooses, or whatever you want to call them, and inadequate dental care was inaccurate and embarrassment to their office and ICE. Is it part of your contract with ICE to refute findings that the OIG or other groups find in their inspections of facilities? That's a yes or a no. No. You also said in your letter that our reports can include only what which, that which was verified while we were on site, notwithstanding any changes that may have occurred before or after the inspections. If your inspectors were at Adelanto in October 2018, how could you then dispute that, was observed, that which was observed by the OIG five months earlier? For example, you claim the OIG was wrong in noting that a detainee in a wheelchair had not left his wheelchair since his recent arrival and had not accessed any of the hygiene products and the bag given to him, but your inspectors were not present for that inspection, so how could you possibly claim that the OIG's findings were, were not true? Because my staff went back and looked at the actual records. Did you see the man sitting in the wheelchair or had he been moved? They asked, Five months later, ma'am. Five months later. Finally, your letter says that DHS ICE detention program has dedicated significant resources, and they certainly have, to ensure the proper care of ICE detainees and compliance with the standards. Do you think that it is appropriate for your company to make that kind of statement that suggests ICE is doing everything properly, even though I know that you're particularly a beneficiary of their uh, resources? Do you believe that that's a reasonable position for you to take? It's kind of a yes or a no. Can I take your silence as a, a yes or a no? 